Hey, new and returning friends, I'm Tavaldo on Tech, AKA the Paperless Professor. I'm a professor and I'm a doctoral student and I share tips and resources and reviews for teachers and students who wanna be paperless or just learn more about ed tech. If you like this content, be sure to hit the like button and let me know what you think. So today I'm sharing my digital workflow as a paperless student and it really consists of finding the right apps for me that helps me facilitate my learning. And so I've found that when I read a ton of articles like this, I save them to Google Drive, I save them to Speechify, I open them in highlights, I listen and I mark up, I'm able to get the material I need and have it organized in a logical way. When I'm done, I can export those highlights as a PDF or as a notes and I'm able to cut and paste and use that content in my other papers. And so let me show you how I do that. All right, so once I have the article that I want to save, read and mark up, I change it to reader view in Safari. And then I go up to the top corner and I click the share -o and I hit print, I wanna print. I use my two fingers to expand the print view. So now it's a PDF format. And I just double click to make sure that I can see all the pages and everything looks formatted pretty good. Then I click the share -o again and I save it to my Google Drive. There it is. And so once I'm in my Google Drive, I can really save it wherever I want. I change the title if necessary. Sometimes it formats with a funny title. And in this case, I'm marking it with an asterisk to differentiate it from the other uh, topics that I'm working with within my folder. I then select the folder where I want it to go and I click Upload. Now it's saved as a PDF in my Google Drive. The next thing I'm gonna do is expand the, I copy the title um, so I can have my article uh, title ready to go. And I go to the share again, I go to Speechify. And when it imports into Speechify, I can crop the off page numbers and footers, et cetera, so it doesn't read that. I use the Apple Pencil here. Um, and this is only an iPad feature when I'm using it on the iPad that I can make these adjustments. If you import directly from the computer, it won't allow you to make these edits. It's a little finicky, but it's a nice feature. And when you're done editing the pages, you click add to file. And those three dots there on the side, uh, the snowman allow you to rename the file. So I paste in here. And from there, I can then move it into the folder. So I keep an organize, organization structure similar to my Google Docs in here. I find the folder where I want to add it. And that keeps all my articles organized in Speechify. And I can exit here out of uh, the expanded print mode. And the last thing I need to do to keep my content, web content saved is I bookmark it. So I go ahead in Safari, I click the share I click add bookmark. I find my bookmark um, folder and I save it there. And you can see when I click bookmarks, I can find it in the folder and I can see all of my articles that I'm kind of curating here. So how do I mark up? Well, I start Speechify and I open it, I find the article I want to listen to. And then in a perfect world, I have highlights and Speechify in a split screen, but that doesn't work right now. As you can see, highlights doesn't let me add it to the split screen mode and that's a Speechify's issue. I know they're working on it. So I just close out Speechify, I open up highlights and then I swipe, um, I go find the article here in highlights. Um, by the way, I do have a paid version of highlights, just so you know. I navigate to the Google Drive, I open it up, then I pull up Speechify and I start playing the document. Virtual platforms are helpful tools but can add to our stress. Virtual platforms are helpful tools but can add to our stress. The overuse of virtual meetings during COVID-19 can affect our... I pause it here and I open up highlights and then I can swipe down from the corner, top uh, right corner up there and hit play again. Posted May 14, 2020 source. Photo by Barton Gavin on unsplash the coronavirus pandemic is taking a toll on our mental health as we continue social distancing, self-isolation, and related measures, while schools, businesses, healthcare facilities, courthouses, and many others started to heavily rely upon virtual platforms to continue their day-to-day -day operations. This technology... I do listen to it very fast. From here, I, will, I pause and I'm tracking while I'm listening and I go through and I highlight something and then I go up, you can see the note pops open on the left, on the right side of the screen when I highlight on the right side of the screen and then I can listen again. Zoom, Skype, and Microsoft Teams in order to continue business as usual. We are now starting to see Zoom fatigue, the term being used to describe the tiredness, anxiety, or worry resulting from... And I can continue to highlight different sections, different colors. I use different colors for main idea, theory, evidence, quotes, things like that. 
for using these virtual platforms. Video conferences are mentally exhausting. It is unnatural to have someone's enlarged face extremely close to you with prolonged eye contact. Nonverbal cues are lost, distorted, or delayed. The expectation that we can have normal professional and social interactions this way is unrealistic. While juggling child care and So once my PDF is actually ready to be saved, it's already saved a copy in my Google Drive. And I can now export it to places like Notability, uh, which is where I like keep all my school notes. And you can see that highlights are actually part of the document when I export to Notability. So you can see that you can you get the different colors in there as well. I can also exit out of this and I can just save the note parts. Uh, so I can just save the actual notes, not the whole PDF. Um, but I like to actually be able to cut and paste the notes so I uh, can export. So it, you can see that it was a notability. I like to actually export um, to Apple Notes and from there I can cut and paste um, out to other places like Google Docs. So click the share arrow and I can go to Apple Notes and I can just open up the notes and see from there when I click that, I can actually cut and paste right back into Google Docs for when I'm doing projects and annotations. So that's my digital workflow. I need to listen to the text to comprehend better. Speechify and the Highlights apps on my iPad work best for me. I can get through tons of articles and readings so much faster than if I was doing it with a pen and paper. Yes, there is some preparation on the front end, but I find that I have everything organized and duplicated and I love that redundancy just in case I lose something. Speechify is hopefully working on the split view for iPad users and that'll, that'll really help us. Um, I did make that video, I'll link it up at the end, where I showed you how to use um, Speechify and highlights on two different devices. This way I showed you how to use it on one device. It's a good hack for now. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. I invite you to support this channel by subscribing and clicking the bell so you'll get notified when new videos do post. Also, feel free to check out the MyTech Tool Belt podcast. It's a podcast where I interview teachers who innovate, engage, and inspire using technology in their classrooms. The link is in the description below. Uh, in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.